Alam mo ba katropa na pwede mo ma-reset ang iyong PLDT Home Fiber Router to default factory settings na hindi na nangangailangan ng computer? Or ano mga wires na pangsundot sa ating router? Ang kailangan mo lang is ang iyong smartphone. Maan? Kuya IT, true pang kaalaman. Word of the day. Master Reset is another term of factory reset which means to restore the device to its original manufacturer settings. The other meaning is set again or cause a binary device to enter the state representing to numeral zero. Suguro na nato. And this time, make sure lang na connected na po yung ating phone sa ating PLDT Home Fiber Routers Wi-Fi. This is a self-help tech guide, so help yourself by not skipping any part of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To start with, open po tayo ng web browser. Then, sa web address bar, type po natin yung IP address ng ating PLDT Home Fiber Router. The default is 192.168.1.1. Kung hindi mo po alam ang IP address ng iyong PLDT Home Fiber Router, katropa, meron po tayong guide dyan. Click nyo lang tong I button. After tapping go, there were instances na may encounter po ninyong can't access problem or hindi po ninyong ma-access sa inyong PLDT Home Fiber Router. Ang gagawin lang po natin is to change the URL of our PLDT Home Fiber Router from HTTP to HTTPS. Now, tap go. Click advance, proceed to and save. There you go, katropa. Sa login page, input na po natin yung default username and password ng ating router super admin. So, super admin po yung gagamitin natin for this guide. According to your router's software version. Kung hindi mo pa alam ang software version, username at password ng iyong PLDT Home Fiber Router, open na po tayo ng isa pang tab sa ating browser. Type po natin yung youtube.com sa web address bar. Take note katropa na hindi po YouTube app ang gamit natin for this guide. Dahil hindi po natin makapi yung text sa description kung YouTube app ang gagamitin natin. Ngayon dito sa youtube.com, isearch po natin yung access PLDT. Select po yung thumbnail natin na admin versus super admin. Kung hindi po ninyo alam ka tropa ang software version ng iyong PLDT. Kung hindi niyo po alam ka tropa ang software version ng iyong PLDT yung fiber router at para makuha po niyo ang tamang credentials, I suggest to watch this video. Ngayon, kung alam mo na, tap na po natin yung title ng video to collapse the description box. Ngayon, scroll po natin at search yung router's credential po natin according to our router's software version. Sa akin po katropa, alam ko na, I am using RP2646. Kaya I will use this super admin. Long press lang po natin ang username to copy. Dapat no more no less para hindi po tayo maka-encounter ng username error. Punta po tayo sa kabilang tab at i-paste po natin sa username. Ngayon, balik naman po tayo sa tab 2. Oops, nahatid na daw po yung module katropa. Sa mga kabataan po dyan, start answering your module. Huwag kayong mag-ML. Mga tatay lang ang pwede yung ML. This time, long press naman natin yung password to copy. Dapat no more no less than para hindi po tayo maka-encounter ng password error. Balik na tayo sa kabilang tab. Long press to paste the password sa input box. Now, click login. Welcome katropa sa Super Admin Device Management. Ang gagawin lang po natin dito is to talk the restore all. After po nating matap ang restore all, you will see this prompt message. Click lang, click lang po natin yung OK. Then another message will appear. Itong restore is successful. Then the PLDT fiber router will reboot. By the way, sa mga solid katropa po natin dyan, ayaw gi mong kalimpok like sa atong video. At sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, pakisubscribe na din and click the notification bell. Para ma-notify kayo kaagad sa mga bago po nating updates. So, mamamatay po lahat ng lights ng ating PLDT Home Fiber Gateway katropa. Ang gagawin lang po natin is to wait until na umiilaw ulit lahat ng lights. Warning lang katropa, after the process is done, lahat po ng mga Wi-Fi devices will be disconnected. Pati din po ako ay disconnected na din. 
Bakit? Dahil bumalik na po sa default settings yung ating PLDT Home Fiber SSID name or Wi-Fi name at yung ating PLDT Home Fiber Wi-Fi password. Ano nang gagawin natin? Mag-reconnect po tayo using the default Wi-Fi name and password na makikita po ninyo sa ilalim ng ating PLDT Home Fiber Gateway gateway or router. Sa akin po ito po yung SSID ng aking PLDT Home Fiber Gateway. By the way, katawa wag po kayong makonfuse kung bakit connected po ako sa BOSS Wi-Fi. That is my TP-Link access point. Uh, open po kasi yan at nakasave, kaya connected po yung status. Pero wala po yung internet access dahil hindi po tayo nag-input ng voucher code. Input lang ang default Wi-Fi password and connect. You may need katropa to input the password twice to get connected tulad po ng sa akin. Once connected na tayo ulit, open lang po tayo ng web browser, type or tap the saved IP address ng ating PLDT Fiber Gateway, click advance, proceed to unsave, Sa login page, input lang po yung default username and password. This is the basic admin. So input lang po natin yung admin as username at 1234 as password. Tap login. An initial login prompt message will appear. Tap lang po natin yung OK. Ngayon, i-configure na po natin ulit ang ating PLDT Home Fiber admin password, Wi-Fi password, at SSID or Wi-Fi name. Follow lang po ang password requirements na dapat Meron pong numbers, symbols, special characters, lowercase, uppercase, and at least 12 characters. Sa video na to meron, sa video na to meron po tayong ilalagay na password samples for your reference. After tapping apply ka tropa, meron po tayong message na makikita na access device notice. Please take note ko pa, after tapping apply, madi-disconnect din po tayo or lahat ng mga Wi-Fi devices sa ating PLDT Home Fiber Wi-Fi. Bakit? Dahil pinalitan na po natin yung default Wi-Fi password at SSID name or Wi-Fi name ng ating PLDT Home Fiber Router. Ano naman po yung gagawin natin? Siyempre, magre-reconnect po tayo using sa bago po nating ginawang SSID name or Wi-Fi name. Sa akin, ito po yung aking Wi-Fi name or SSID name. So, input ko lang po yung aking bagong Wi-Fi password. There you go, Katropa. You just reset and reconfigured your PLDT Home Fiber Router using your phone. Did you learn something? Get this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more. I'm also happy to see your comments.